This year's Brazilian Grand Prix wasn't as exciting as last year's, but that doesn't mean that there wasn't any drama. And at the beginning of the race, old rivals Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen clashed once again, but this time Hamilton said that he was not concerned. So why is he so confident about next year's campaign? And how is he planning to help Mercedes after their 2022 slump? First up, Hamilton called 2021 manipulated again. Ever since Abu Dhabi last year, Lewis Hamilton has been hounded by questions about how it felt to watch a championship slip out of his hands. Finally, he has made his most forceful accusation against race director Michael Massey while defending his own record. His comments came as he was interviewed by former driver Timo Glock. The funny thing is that Glock proved to be critical to Hamilton winning his first world title in 2008. At the time, Glock was a Toyota driver, and while he wasn't even close to battling for the championship, at the 2007 Brazilian Grand Prix, Hamilton only beat Ferrari's Philippe Massa by overtaking Glock on the final turn of the race. That's what made it entertaining when Glock asked Hamilton if he felt that 2008 and 2021 had similar endings. But Hamilton was forceful in his response, saying no, it was different, because this one wasn't manipulated by anybody. That was a clear shot at the FIA and Michael Massey, who were widely criticized for how they handled the race and the aftermath. But for Hamilton, what was important about 2008 was how Philippe Massa handled the loss with pride and dignity. To be fair to Lewis, he also stood on the podium with Max in Abu Dhabi and was graceful in defeat, but he still maintains that the decisions made that night against him were not fair. And despite his sportsmanship on the night, the rivalry between the two just refuses to die. Next, is Hamilton too old for his teammate? There's no doubt that Lewis Hamilton is the number one driver on the Mercedes team. You only have to look at his salary of over $50 million to get that idea. But there is one man threatening his status in the team. He may have a shiny white smile and be a gentleman, but make no mistake, George Russell is in Formula One to win races. And coming into this year's season, many thought that Russell's huge potential may put Hamilton off balance. But former world champion Jensen Button thinks that the opposite is true. Button said that because Hamilton is at the tail end of his career and still outperforming Russell, who is in his prime, Hamilton will be feeling very comfortable within himself. Just like the rest of us, Button is excited to see what happens between the two Mercedes men in the future. If the Brazilian Grand Prix is anything to go by, the two are neck and neck. So what went wrong for Hamilton in Sao Paulo? And how did he miss out on his first win of the season to George Russell? It was a familiar sight watching Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen go wheel to wheel against each other at the Brazilian Grand Prix. Free, and even more familiar was their colliding with each other. After that opening lap, the race was red flagged after Daniel Ricciardo crashed into Kevin Magnussen, taking them both out of the race. That set up a battle for position between Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. Verstappen started from fourth on the grid, while Hamilton had started just ahead in third. On the opening lap, neither had been able to get a great run, but on the restart, they were ready to fight. It was a recipe for disaster. Last season was filled with dramatic incidents between the two, and it culminated in one of the biggest controversies in Abu Dhabi. Hobby, so there was plenty of history between the two. It doesn't look like they are going to bury the hatchet anytime soon. But he didn't agree. In the second lap, the two collided, going into the second corner, which took them both off the racetrack and left them with a ton of damage. Verstappen had to pit for a new front wing, while Hamilton was relegated from second place all the way down to eighth. For Verstappen's part in the incident, he was given a five-second time penalty, but he didn't agree. After the race, he said that Hamilton clearly didn't have the intention to race. In response, Hamilton said that he's not concerned and it's something that he's used to dealing with. It may have cost him the race win, which he lost to George Russell, but Hamilton's sights are firmly set on 2023. Up next, how did Verstappen lose the confidence of his teammate, and how is Lewis Hamilton building Mercedes into a championship-winning team again? So don't go anywhere. Verstappen's team orders. Surprisingly, not many people are talking about Verstappen's collision with Hamilton, and that's because of a much more controversial incident that came later in the race. Later in the race, Verstappen was well out of contention for a race win, and it didn't seem to matter either. He'd hard already wrapped up the Drivers' Championship and guaranteed that Red Bull won the Constructors' win. So when Max Verstappen was asked to move aside to help his teammate Sergio Perez chase a number two finish in the championship, it seemed like a no-brainer. Besides, Perez had let Verstappen pass earlier in the race to try and hunt down Alonso, which he failed to do. But when the team order came through the radio, Verstappen's reply was short and blunt. He said, I have already said before not to ask me that. Are we clear about that? This was surprising for Red Bull fans, who were hoping that Max would help push Checo to his highest finish in the Formula 1 standings. And more surprised than anyone was Perez himself. In his post-race interview, he said that it revealed who Max really is. He thought that he was owed more respect than that, after all he has done. His 8th place finish means that he is equal in the standings now with Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner said that Checo deserves that second place, and that Max was committed to helping his teammate out in the final race. The fallout. Everything in life comes with consequences, and even the Formula 1 world champion isn't immune from penalties. While he may have won almost everything 
something possible this year, former Drivo Pedro de la Rosa thinks that Verstappen's actions in Brazil will come back to bite him in the long run. De la Rosa said that it's important for Verstappen's team to come down hard on him to make him more of a team player. That's especially true because Perez has been such a loyal teammate to Verstappen, helping him in his 2021 and 2022 championship runs wherever he could. De la Rosa said nobody's going to want to work for Verstappen if they know that he is going to pay them back like this. And if you thought the drama ended in the paddock, you'd be wrong. The Verstappen Perez incident has spilled over into social media, where Max's mother is fighting with Checo. Believe it or not, Max's mom, Sophie Kumpen, may have taken to Instagram to defend her son's honor. She allegedly suggested that Perez had been cheating on his wife in a comment before quickly deleting it. And that was likely a reference to a video taken after the Monaco Grand Prix showing Perez dancing and kissing another woman. A screenshot of the interaction has been circulating, but it hasn't been officially verified. Whether or not it's real, one thing is for sure, this teammate feud isn't going to calm down anytime soon. Building things back up. Someone that knows all too well about teammate feuds is Lewis Hamilton. He has had his share of run-ins with his partners, but for now, his relationship with George Russell looks to be going well. The tail end of this season is showing promising signs of improvement for Mercedes, who got off to a disastrous start. But for anyone hoping that Hamilton would be calling it quits anytime soon, you'll have to wait a little while longer. While he admits that after last year, he lost a bit of love for racing, he said that he is fit and focused on achieving a historic 8th World Championship. That would make him undoubtedly the most successful F1 driver of all time. So why is he so confident in Mercedes for next season? Well, he has noted how the team have climbed mountains this season to get where they are. Achieving a 1-2 finish at the Brazilian Grand Prix was unthinkable at the start of the season. They may have profited from some early Red Bull failures, but those fortunate podiums were hiding serious fundamental issues at the team, which only seemed to be getting worse with each race. But now people are starting to believe that Mercedes could be in contention for a title next season. Hamilton has said that the team have actually become stronger and more more solid by facing their problems head on. Is the Verstappen Hamilton rivalry heating up again, or do they both have enough to worry about with their teammates? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one.